is White AK Incubator here bringing you yet another toy review. As they were looking at Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen Human Alliance Bumblebee. This guy, alright, this one was figures like Devastator for me and The Fallen and Power of Optimus Prime. You look at it, you're like, eh, that'll be a good toy. And then you get it and you're like, Jesus Christ, this is um, a lot better than I thought it'd be. This figure is amazing. I truly, truly love this figure. Now, granted, of course, the robot junk all over the bottom. Who cares? I mean, who? how often do you see a car fly on top of you and you get the chance to look inside or look at the bottom of it when it's driving down the road? So, it's obviously a Transformer because it has Transformers posted the all over the box. So, whatever. The vehicle in itself, from beginning, it's practically, it's not seamless, but... The seams it has, I mean, you know, there'd be a seam here from where it's been welded. Um, right here from the trunk, probably. Um, you know, this thing up here, this line would not be here, but, uh, hood lines, I guess, that would, this would be here. Uh, this would not be here, but, you know, whatever, it still just looks nice. It looks really nice, really accurate to the movie. He's not in, um, vehicle mode, but, um, you can just kind of see the resemblance of the fronts, um, with Deluxe Bumblebee. Um, to have a comparison with a, uh, the movie car, it's not the 09 Camaro, or the 10 Camaro, but, uh, the classic Camaro, kind of see how big he is. The, this is about as big as Deluxe Bumblebee, or the other Deluxe Bumblebee, so, yeah, it's not that bad size. Here's another Deluxe, uh, Ice Cream Twins, so he's about ultra class size, I say. Um, comes with the same wiki figure, it's post up in there, and the the car. Sam is pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if I can focus on it really well, but I know he has kind of this flabbergasted, retarded look on his face, but uh, it's not that bad. His head rotates 360. His um, waist, torso goes forward and back and rotates 360. His arms go in and out, rotate 360. Once you go up, down, in, out, rotate, and uh, the needs bend and rotate. And he's not a bad little figure either. Oh, yeah. Sam to the side. Um, it's got nice detail in there, and it's just a gorgeous looking Camaro. Uh, to transform it. I'm going to take this, pop out the doors, extend them out a little bit to so your little tiny pop, and go back here. I'm going to separate this all right here. Just separate. Yeah. You can take these missiles, these missile cannon parts, these pods. All right. And you want to separate the peg right there. On each side. Alright, before you do anything out, you lift these out. And then you can lift these up. Alright, you can lift around and then pull it up and then pull it down. Alright. Pull it up and down, like that. Alright. Just fold the door that way, and then you just want to go over here, take this separate a little bit, take the legs, extend them out, flip these pieces in, rotate the leg around, uh, fold all this junk up, rotate it towards like that, and flip out the shim. Same thing over here. go over here, here, and uh, take this entire assembly thing, fold it up, go back here, take this thing, fold it up, rotate the head, you want to go over here, pop the little part of the hood up, pop the head up, rotate it, the head pops off for me a lot, but Pull this entire assembly down. If the head pops off, just pop it back on some wall joint. Don't worry about it. Climb the fucker. There you go. Pull that down. You just want to have it like that. Take the arms, pull them down, around. Pull that the hand. Flip that up, and rotate it around. The other arm I don't I don't do anything with it really. 
There goes the missile, but I don't care. Um, and then just organize every all the kibble and everything, and I'll put these little pieces up. And there you have a simply gorgeous looking bumblebee in robot mode. It looks it, like in person, like pictures you might think, yeah, it looks okay. In person, it just looks uh, orgasmic. It's awesome. It truly is amazing. This is the best bumblebee figure. Maybe not as good as Ultimate Bumblebee. Ultimate Bumblebee is almost a giant gimmick toy hindered by a whole bunch of electronics and voices. So. Whatever you may see out of that one may not be exactly what you're getting or anything. You can just kind of see the detail on him and the movie accuracy. Uh, we're going to compare him with regular Deluxe Bumblebee. See the differences and similarities to where the detail and just the sheer overall likeness to the movie this one has over this one. This one's not a bad figure at all, but this is just godly compared to it. Even though it just has this giant hole over here which is for Sam to go in this panel right here but I'm not going to demonstrate it um, go watch and I'm pretty sure Sean Long's review or um, I don't know, Movie Master 217 Dark Better David, Tenacious Dima, uh, Optibotomous, they they have them uh, they review these toys so go check out those reviews. I just don't like the entire human interactiveness with the guns I just don't care for that. Sometimes I sit Sam on the seat but not often but the gimmicks he has, he does have little cannons that come out here, a uh, binocular cannon right there. He has this flip over seat belt cannon thing, and he has his arm cannon, which you take a missile, you plug it in, press the button, and he shoots it. Articulation the head rotates 360. Um, goes up and down a little bit. Arms are t arms go in and out. Rotate 360. Rotate that part of the arm, bit at the elbow. Um, rotate at the wrist. The thumb moves. The hand moves and the fingers move. Uh, the waist rotates 360. Um, oh, and this has no articulation, but the same articulation in the other part of the arm. Um, legs go in, uh, move up and down, in out. Rotate 360 of the part of the leg, bend at the knee at two joints, and the feet go in and out. Alright, another thing, if you guys, oh, yeah, you fully sprung shot. If you guys hear uh, some noise in the background, it's my TV. I'm watching the movie Wally, -E, and it's about to get loud. Um, so if you guys hear it, that's what that is. He also has um, one other gimmick. He has a flip down battle mask. I like. I think it looks better. With um, without the battle mask, but you know it's um, it's there, I guess. Um, so yeah, not really much more to say. It is a nice figure. It is a very very nice figure. I definitely recommend it. It is a gorgeous figure. Very very good. Um, this guy is gotta be a nine and a half out of ten for me. Um, but anyway. Yeah, oh, and the Sam Wiki figure is probably about in seven, seven and a half, high seven, uh, medium eight out of ten for me. But anyway, I like to thank you guys for watching this review. If you guys enjoyed this, re enjoyed this review, check out my channel. I have many other reviews, and subscribe to my channel if you like. And uh, I have many other reviews coming up. Subscribe, comment, rate, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next review and or video. And this has been Anakin Invader with. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Human Alliance Bumblebee with Sam Witwicky.